Hi everybody, I'm Dean. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. And we are aboard Carnival Radiance already. Surprise. It's one of those days where we shuttled here really fast and never really took the time to stop and say, hey, welcome to the series. We just remembered to do it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and throw it back to our morning, and we will catch up with you when you catch back up with us. Sounds good. All right, roll that beautiful bean footage. Made it to the port of Long Beach. There is the Queen Mary. Cute out here. We're gonna get ready to head through the terminal and check in. Yay! <laughs> We are both negative and ready to board. Well, boarding has not started yet, so we're just gonna wait on this lovely bench. And yeah, this is where you'll find us. <laughs> boarding is expected to begin soon. In the meantime, we'd like to share some important information with you. We will begin boarding our sweet guests, followed by zone A1. Welcome to Carnival Radiance. Please remain seated until the We are making it on board Carnival Radiance. I will call that a victory for us. <laughs> oh, old ship jokes. We'll peek at the Queen Mary as we walk down the thing, path here. It is time for first steps on this ship as Carnival Radiance. Wow, that was amazing. It's <laughs> It's all coming back to me now. All oh, this atrium glory as we've got Selena on the speakers. Well, let's have a wander, I guess. We are going to begin our adventure at our muster station on deck four. We're heading to muster station D, appropriately enough. Right up here on the left. Looks like they are demonstrating the life jackets up here. We are officially mustered. They gave us a very quick life jacket demonstration, said come here if you hear the boop boops, and that is good to go. So yeah. We are going to head up to the cabin because I believe we can at least drop our bags off. We'll see if the room is ready. They are still cleaning the cabin back there, so I think we'll decide not to leave our stuff. Because if you drop it, and uh, you have to leave it with the door open. So rather than leaving our backpacks with the cabin door open, we'll just hold on to them for a little while. Let's go up to Lido, shall we? Oh, they've still got all the seahorses. That's what I remember about Victory. Seahorses and aqua seafoam green. Steel drums already? Yes. We're gonna make a beverage stop first up here. Oh, there's our beverage station. Oh, this is the kind that scrubs and rinses and dries. I think you just stick your, uh, well, it's supposed to have some kind of light. I don't think it works. Maybe it's not working. Huh. Yeah, let's use the actual sink. The old machine didn't seem to be functioning. I just feel like I definitely want to wash my hands. I like that you have your Royal Caribbean vaccinated bracelet on still. Well, until I can get to my scissors, I can't take it off. That's so. true. Yeah, nice little color schemes going on. I like it. <laughs> Beer. We got the nice Shani Cucina do Capitano up there. Oh, it's on the buffet today. Veggies, pepper steak, pork ribs, pecan fish. There's some paella. No, that's jambalaya. Hello. We got fruit. Big old salad bar. Of course, this is where Dee is going to begin her victorious lunch journey. <laughs> Dee got a little salad action going, and some of the stuff up there didn't have labels, so we played a little game called Is This Cheese or Is This Tofu? And I think you ended up with tofu, actually. It looks nice. Like <laughs> I think it's tofu. I also did a little salady action. You know, cheese and ham and carrots. I love purple cabbage. That's my secret. Don't tell everybody. Purple cabbage is awesome. There's some radishes and stuff down in there. Smiley face. Is it? That's creepy. But you know what? I'm just going to eat his eyeballs and life is going to be good. It really does. We'll sit here overlooking Queen Mary in the cruise terminal. Yeah, test if it's tofu. Oh, 
Is feta? It's not feta. Is, it is, is it goat like. cheese? Is it styrofoam? She doesn't know what it is. Okay, it's, it's gonna be good. Very They've got this little stand right here on Lido where they will help you go through and determine what is suitable for food allergies and special food needs. That's cool. Getting ready to head to the back of the ship. Oh yeah, I forgot about this little sneaky hallway that has restrooms and stuff down it that takes you to the back of the ship. But anyway. Ooh, fancy. All right, we're gonna wander out back. Oh yeah, you have to touch the thing on the side. Holy moly. One of the new additions on this ship is Shaq's Big Chicken. That sounds like that goes with the uh, salad fairly well. Oh yeah, they've got like a little detour here. There we go. <laughs> so we've had this on Mardi Gras, obviously. Always a favorite. Oh, which one do I like? Big Aristotle is good. I don't think I've ever had Uncle Jerome, which is the spicy. Yeah, D got some chicken tenders. I'm gonna do the MDE, which is the classic sandwich. Hot fries, hot fries. Now we have a little dining al fresco. So there we go. Chicken tenders and what? Shack sauce? Lunch number two. Yeah, no, I got the MDE <laughs> with fries and shack sauce. So we'll just overlook this aft pool, bask in all these views, and enjoy our chicken. Ooh, if you ever need to find me, if you're looking for me around a ship, just I'll be in the shade eating a chicken sandwich. And that's exactly where you can find me. That is good. I think that's the classic. It's just chicken, shack sauce, pickles, but bun. How's your tenders doing? Oh, it's really good. You can find me in the club. Not really. Can I take my chicken sandwich in the club? I have a chicken club. Yeah. If it's during the day. Okay. All right. Well, you'll find me in the chicken club. Eating the chicken club. This is really good. Good stuff. The sauce is killer. Not really, but it's good. Yeah. Ryan Rose is our CD. Oh, they've got the happy hour. I forgot about that. Ooh, I see suitcases in the hall. That could be a good sign. Yep, our keys are above the door number thing. And now a cabin spins. We came back down. Our cabin is ready, obviously. Suitcases are here. Life is good. Yay. We don't even know if we're fully unpacking this trip because for a four day, you live out of packing cubes and I yeah. do kind of live out of folded piles in the closet. But we we'll might. Figure it out. We might. But let's do a cabin tour. You can see we got some nice natural light back there. So let's start from the door like we usually do where you learn about mustard drills and whatnot. This is one of the ships where you have to put the little uh, a card in to make the light switches work. What is here? Oh, we got one of these folds the other way. All right, little storage on this side with shelves and a safe. Close that boy up. All right, back from that, we've got the main closet. Oh, with a big old mirror. Man, that was a terrible view of me. Um, hangers. That's all for all your tall stuff. Oh, there's some bars in there, I guess, in case you want to adjust and hang some short stuff. And, oh, the mini fridge is in the closet. Weird. Unexpected. Okay, mini fridge is down there with an area for hanging short stuff. And there is our luggage mat thingamajig. Hmm. Now luggage mat. Well, wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> Dual luggage mats. Oh, three luggage mats. You get a luggage mat and you get a luggage mat. Okay. Like no, can't do that. All right, now the bathroom opens this way. So let's step to the side. Oh, we got to turn the light on in there. Oh, man. Okay, so I don't think they've made a whole lot of adjustments to the bathroom. We remember. Oh, but you know what I do? Even though it's a shower curtain, I like these little shower situations. Because they're kind of nice and forgiving. You know, they've got like that little diagonal. Anyway, we'll dig into the shower later. And nice big open toilet area. Yay, old ship bathroom. You're awesome. There's our thermostat with the digital that's set all the way to cold for now. Little, oh, okay, here. Let's look around the corner. We got the breakfast card and the snooze and sign. What's behind the snooze and sign? Oh, balcony cleaning tomorrow. Okay, I guess they leave that back there so they can just let us know because I don't think that's a thing. There's a couch, which I think this does convert into some kind of like sleeping unit, judging by the look of it. Oh, we got our Carnival Radiance inaugural season book. Hello. on. here's where they keep their D's. In the room, of course, on the bed, on my side of the bed. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's my little uh, storage thingamajig. No sort of power solutions by the bed that I can tell, because they usually like to stick them in lamps. Guys, there's a balcony out there. <laughs> uh, here's the vanity area. So we got some drawers, uh, cabinets, 
They gave us some masks. Oh yeah, see, there would be no place out here for a mini fridge necessarily. There's not enough room. So three big drawers. Gosh, these are big. Anything in there? Hair dryer. Laundry stuff. Oh yeah, we gotta sit in laundry. And we do have two 120s. Whoop whoop. And a 220. Math. So protocols are still currently that you must wear face masks while indoors. I believe that is changing soon. Today's February 28th as we have boarded the ship. So I believe as of literally tomorrow, a lot of this is changing. So huh, I guess we won't look at it too hard. Oh, we got two USBs right here by this telephone. I didn't even see that. So I didn't see any power solutions by the bed, but we got two regular outlets or, you know, 120s and two USBs. I guess we'll come look at the balcony. Yeah. We're overlooking the uh, ocean side, not the port side. Ooh, well, let's look at the balcony. Let's, let's, let's go out and look at the balcony. All right, I've come to the far corner of the balcony. So there's our chairs. There's where they keep their D's on the balcony. Hello. We can ship spot out here. Yeah. The, uh, I think this is the Westerdam. I know Crown Princess is right out there. There's another princess ship just kind of chilling right off the coast. The Grand is the best this morning. Mm-hmm. Here's all of our views of Long Beach nice slash L.A. Yeah, really, uh, we're on the shady side. This could actually be a perfect spot for a live stream. Sounds good. It's quiet. I hear a little thump thump from maybe music up top. You do. Guys, we might just live stream right stinking here. What are you looking at? Oh, there's an animal. It might actually be a stick. Um, okay, well, hey, guys, there's a stick. There's a stick in the water. Nice big shiny brown stick. So, hmm, <laughs> don't see that every day. Or do you? Oh, I hear him. The stick is talking to me. Oh, that's the duck. oh, guys, there's a duck. The duck is not too far from the stick, so they could be friends. Where's the stick? There's the stick. There's the duck. Wonderful footage, you guys. Can yes, see. the wild world of Paradij nature spotting. <laughs> Crikey, have a look at that duck. Quack, quack. Oh, oh. Guys, there's a closer duck. It's fascinating. All right. We're gonna go we need to just unpack and live stream because this has gotten ridiculous. All right. Bye. Oh, yeah. We got our water. We ordered 12 bottles of water to the room. And we got a dang old bottle of red wine in here, actually. Dee's BDM, our business development manager for the travel agency, um, sent us a bottle of wine for Carnival. Oh, that's amazing. Tag on you famous. No, yeah. it's because my sales are good. That's so true. thank you guys. I know. <laughs> You've been selling the heck out of some Carnival. And Royal and that's everybody's cool. stuff. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. i got to write him an email. Well, something to point out. We have these little uh, magnetic hooks. They're available in our Amazon affiliate shop. What? Paradigia.com slash Amazon. Hashtag ad. Um, and they're usually pretty good, but I'm noticing that the walls are not very magnetic on here. People sometimes ask about the doors. The doors are holding pretty well. Um, the ceilings. The ceiling seems fine. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. We might have to hang those suckers from the ceiling, but... Yeah, poor little walls are just, you know, I can barely rest my finger on it, so no walls. Oh, look, there I am back there. Ooh. Oh, I haven't ever pinched myself much like that, have I? <laughs> anyway, so unpacking and yes. stuff like that, and we'll catch up with you after the live stream and after some cool stuff happens. Or we'll see you at the live stream. That's true. Actually, I guess we should catch up before the cool stuff happens, because yeah. you want to see the cool stuff, so okay, Same. that'll work. We just wrapped our live stream. There's about a hundred ducks down there now. They just blew the horn. Pilot boat is ready. So I think we are getting ready to come sail away with me. Come sail. Yes. Come sail with me. So that is the Westerdam out there, and we also have the Crown Princess and the Royal Princess. I'm not sure which one we can see there to the right. But the other princess is kind of hiding back behind the Holland America ship. I think we got double pilots out here. Do they normally give you two pilots? Wow. We're making progress now. So long, Long Beach. There, we can finally sneak a peek to that other princess ship out there. So, Westerdam. Royal princess and a little crown princess who we sailed in February of 2020 or March, I guess. 
Yo, I just heard some sea lions barking out here. Where the heck do the sea lions live? Do they live out on that little island? Oh, I need to see some lions. Looks like Navigator of the Sea's got a jump start on us. I think that's her to the left up there, way off in the distance. Not the gigantic cargo ship that we're looking at its booty right now, but I think that's Low Navigator. They're also on a four-day run going to the same ports. Holy ships, look at all this traffic out here. Anyway, we're heading out to open ocean. The winds are picking up. Let's go. And we're back. That was exciting. Hey right? guys, um, it's dinner time by the way. So <laughs> we have sailed away. It's getting a little dark out there and we are ready for some food. Time for dinner. Yeah, I think we're just gonna jump to the MDR. Mm -hmm. We've gone on the app and checked in. We have my time dining, but you just check in. It says under a 10 minute wait and we're gonna head to um. Super easy. Yum. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> food. Hello, is that an aardvark? Oh gosh, look at that ball rolling around by itself. We're kind of moving. <laughs> or there's ghosts. Right, oh, masks required indoors. Wandering forward on deck four now. Oh yeah, limelight. Give me for I think I remember this being a different style of lounge, but yeah, this is now the limelight comedy lounge on four. Clever. There's all this cool little seating over here. Guys, we're exploring the ship. Welcome to the impromptu ship tour. Oh yeah, you have to watch the comedy on the screen. Like an extension of limelight. Yeah, he used to be our cruise director. On the Triumph. Oh, I forgot when you're on deck four and you get stuck by the restaurant. You gotta go up to deck five to get forward to the theater. All right, here we go, here we go. Are we new at cruising or it's, what? It's, it's different on every It's been a while ship. since yeah. we've been on one of the more broken up ships where you have to like figure out weird. how to get from the back to the front. My brain broke. Oh, the casino's open. Let's don't record it. Yeah. We have successfully located the atrium. Woo! We've got fun shops and we finally found the theater because there's a 90s music trivia up here in the Liquid Lounge. But we want to be on the ground floor for that, so down we go. Yeah, fun ashore, fun aboard is happening right now. It's on these cruises where you literally have your first port on day two, they always jam fun ashore, fun aboard on the first day. Whew, this four day cruise will be over before we know it. Before I became a cruise director, I used to do musical theater. I was in Lion King the Musical for four years. I was in Wicked the Musical for eight years, yeah? Lion King was my favorite show because I got to play an awesome character. I got to play a gazelle in the show. I want to see your best gazelle. <laughs> now, sir, I'm going to need you to go ahead and Google gazelle, okay? <laughs> Well, congratulations, that is for you. Way to go. Give it up for doing such a fantastic job. Your cruise has just begun. Coming up next, you have 90s music trivia. Then we have our welcome aboard bingo and our welcome aboard show. My name is Ryan Rose, your cruise director. We're going to go ahead and give away this last excursion. It's going to ticket number 062073. So up next is the 90s music trivia. Yeah, I forgot that this was a slightly different style of liquid lounge. You get the nice stadium seating over on the side. I totally didn't remember, yeah, how sunshine and sunrise and all that worked. Ooh. The name of the artist. Ooh, no, not that one. 
And I also need the title. Ooh, that's the easier one. Got 29 out of 30. All right. So close. There were two perfect scores that came down to a tiebreaker. So now, bingo. That's the final call. Now, if you haven't met me, my name is Adele. I am your bingo manager here on board the beautiful Carnival Radiance. Stick around because showtime is coming up in just a few moments. If you do have those clipboards, just bring them back down to the lovely Sharon. Up next is the Welcome Aboard Show. Come on, family. First and foremost, my name is Ryan Rose, and I'm honored to be your cruise director for the next four fun-filled days here on board. Tomorrow, we visit our first beautiful port of call. Who's excited for Catalina? Yes, we arrive bright and early tomorrow. Tomorrow we have water shuttles. That means we cannot physically dock in Catalina. So we park the ship about five minutes outside of the port. Now I told you tonight I want to have some fun with you. I don't want to keep you too long in this theater because you have a whole ship to explore. But right now I'm looking for a very special couple. This game is called Junk in the Trunk. Go! Shake it out, shake it out. Oh my goodness, look at him. Shake it, shake it, shake, sir! Oh man! Sir, we're done, we're done. We're done. Wow. I'm not gonna pick one entertainment VIP, I'm gonna pick two. So both of you guys are gonna be our entertainment VIPs for the cruise vacation. How does that sound? That lanyard is gonna give you the best seats in the house for any production show this cruise vacation. Those seats are located right here at this time. Radiance family, give them a wonderful round of applause as they make their way back on down to their brand new seats. And on behalf of the captain, officer, staff, and crew, we wanna thank each and every single one of you for being on board with us here on the amazing Carnival Radiance. My name is Ryan Rose, your cruise director. Have a wonderful night and welcome aboard. We've got the Latin group down in the atrium. We have come back to the cabin and found a cute little dog waiting for us. We didn't get to meet our steward earlier, but apparently that is Eddie, I would say. And we got some information about the priority tendering for tomorrow in Catalina. Nice. Notice how I didn't say water shuttle. All of us. Ooh, oh. Even the dog noticed I said tender. Oh my gosh. Nice. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we're back in the cabin. We are going to bed. We call it slightly early night because it's pretty early. I mean, it's like 10 tomorrow. something. Yeah, we're getting, yeah. we've got a lot of adventures planned for tomorrow in Catalina, so we'll see yeah. how it all comes together. We'll see. Um, yeah, that was the first welcome aboard show I've been to where the cast didn't come out and sing. I was ready for them to be like, right I think now. There was one other one we did. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm maybe. pretty sure there was, but. Well, we just didn't know, but uh, yeah. it was so good to see Ryan Rose again. I know. He's awesome, so, so sweet, and yeah. um, we had him back on the Victory for Halloween Cruise. And we this ship. That. Yeah, exactly. Remember that when this ship was the Victory? Yeah, we thought he was entertaining then, and he's grown even more now. Even more. <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited too, because there's two production shows, mm -hmm. like a four-night cruise with two shows. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, one of them, like a few of them, really, we like both these shows. I love them. Yeah, actually anyway. I do. Well, you'll see them. <laughs> Enough blabbering. So, um, that's it for now. We got Catalina tomorrow, bright and early. Super um, excited. Dinner, pretty good. Yeah, overall it was really good. Actually, everything in mine was good. Even my banana split, mm, that was delicious. My fruit was delicious. Mm. No, everything was good. Uh, but yeah, no complaints. No. Nope. I took a shower earlier. It was nice. <laughs> I'm loving life right now. These life older food. ships have like bigger stuff, they and do. I appreciate it. Yeah, and the bed feels oh, comfy. it's squishy, y'all. Oh. I mean, after we had a lot of ships lately that feel like the beds came from the Home Depot in the lumber department, <laughs> plywood with a sheet on it. This is nice. Really nice, yeah. I might sleep through Catalina tomorrow. No. All right, let's go to bed. We gotta quit talking. So, okay. y'all come back for Catalina tomorrow. This is one of my favorite dressings. Have you ever had Catalina? And on that note, good night. Go. Ow! It's like French, but it's red. All right, anyway.